Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be checking out a really nice, powerful and easy to use Town Hall 15 attack strategy. Six Yetis, five Electro Titans, two minions and of course one of those minions is Michael the Minion, the most powerful troop in Clash of Clans. And four Witches spells are going to be one Rage, one Jump, three Freeze and four Earthquake spells. Donated Clan Castle spells will be a further Rage spell and Poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan Castle troops, two Yetis, four Sneaky Goblins and a Wall Breaker inside either the Log Launcher or the Battle Blimp. So there we go guys, let's jump into our first replay now. So through the clouds we go on to our first replay. So guys, centralised Town Hall base, don't worry. So we've got a jump spell and earthquake spells. Now we don't really need to open up too many compartments on this base. So I'm going to use the jump spell to guide the troops into the base. I want to keep the troops out of that nasty core section though because the poison bomb does so much damage. So a jump spell, you want to get the troops into the base. Log launcher there. I like to use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. Try and not send in your Royal Champion too early guys. But what I have done there... Something a bit different. I haven't used the Earthquake spells to open up the base. No, I've used four Earthquake spells to damage the structures around the Town Hall. Remember, an Earthquake spell, I think it does about 33% damage to whatever structure it hits. Defense-wise, anyway, not storages, things like that. So it is really helpful. It does loads of damage if you spread them out. So how are we doing here? We're taking out the Town Hall. There's a Poison Cloud there, of course. That's going to do loads of damage. Try and keep your troops away from it. Uh, you know, I had an attack early and it looked like it was going really well and they just all stood in the poison cloud and I got about 54%. So yeah, it can it can really ruin your attacks. So what's happening on the left? We've got Mike the Minion on the battlefield on the left-hand side. And guys, if Mike the Minion is on the battlefield, you know you've got a really good chance of getting three or even four, sometimes five stars. Uh, I haven't had one for a while though. And guys, by the way, do remember to hit that subscribe button. A notification bell. Join the Samus army for plenty more easy to use Town Hall 15 attack strategies like this. So we have got another replay, but first of all, can we get three stars here? What are you thinking, guys? Can we get three stars? Of course we can. I'm not going to show you a two star attack. The queen struggling to get through that wall there. And uh, she has. And we've got plenty of troops left over. Both minions. Didn't see the other minion. That's Marvin the minion. Mike and Marvin, best friends. But don't let that deceive you how nice and peaceful they look. They're not, guys. They do so much damage. Damage per second, 73 trillion. So on to the next replay, one of my clan mates, Murphy, is going to start the attack with four Earthquake spells, just opening up the centre of the base. That's called planning, guys. That's planning ahead. Then a beautiful spam attack. You've got a line of Yetis, Electro Titans, and the Witches in a minute. And guys, let me know in the video comments, how are you finding Town Hall 15? It's still pretty difficult for ground attacks. So you've got to find a nice, easy to use sort of spam attack like this. Try and keep your troops away from that Town Hall if you can, because any sort of ground army, like I said before, that moves through where the Town Hall is after it's been destroyed, they're not going to have a good day, guys. They're not going to have a good day at all. Anyway, the log launcher moving through the base. Clan castle troops are out. Yetis are everywhere. Witches on the left. I mean, you can change some of the spells around if you want, guys. I think this is a nice combination. You need that earthquake. You need a jump spell for your troops. And Murphy is using a slightly different troop composition for the clan castle troops. I believe it's an electro titan and a yeti. You can use that combination if you want, guys. But yeah, it's looking really good here. The Royal Champion is going to be the difference between two and three stars, I think. She's moving through the base. Heroes and Pets is up to you. The Royal Champion has got the Phoenix with her there. The Queen always has to be pretty much the Unicorn, I think. It's just such a good combination there. But the Royal Champion and the Phoenix is going to get us three stars here, I think. Because without the Phoenix, the Royal Champion wouldn't take out that Monolith. And then we could have been in trouble. So the Queen moving back through the base. Three stars is going to be secured in approximately 10 or so seconds. So I really do hope you've enjoyed the video today, guys. I put the army copy link in the video description. Do let me know what you think of the attack strategy. Are you going to try it out? Can you get some three stars with it? And guys, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.